Here's a $150 an hour skill that nobody knows about. I wanna introduce you to the PIC microcontroller. This is how I got my start, and this is the most fun you can have with electronics. To give you some context, when you wanna control an electronic device, you've got three really good options nowadays, the RP2040, the ESP32, and the Raspberry Pi Zero. But these are all complex systems. There's a bunch of extra junk in them, and some of these have back doors for spyware. Allegedly, but let's say that you wanted to use a part that's used in military, medical, or like really rock solid consumer products you can choose a PIC microcontroller. This also eliminates all of the extra junk of having the programmer on the board, the extra complexity of the circuit layout, having to have the USB converter and everything. The PIC microcontroller doesn't have any of that. You just put this on the board, give it power. It has an internal oscillator. Give it whatever switches, LEDs, IO you want, and then you program it with an external programmer. To kick off our PIC micro chops, we're gonna go beyond just a Hello World LED flash, and we're gonna sequence four LEDs on these available GPIO pins. We're gonna use a potentiometer to set the speed that it sequences with. You know how much memory these guys have? Like 1700 bytes-ish. You have to make that work. Now, when you're flashing LEDs, doing stuff like that, grabbing A to D values, you can use their C compiler and do a lot with that code space. This next part might be a little bit rough. We're gonna use microchip XIDE. I'm using version 6.25. If you have any questions, just DM me, I'll help you through it. Basically, you set up a project and you select the tool and you program the device. This is our project, I called it TikTok Sequencer Demo, and I right-clicked and did a main.c. Okay, this looks like the correct programmer setup. It looks like we've got an LED on here. He made the little noise in the PC when he enumerated, and then in project properties, we've got PicKit 5 showing up. That's what you want. Once your code's straightened out, you're just gonna click this icon up here and that's gonna make and program the device. Here's our programmed board. And as you can see, we're powering it from the PIC kit five. Now what we can do is we can completely strip away these wires and let it run from its own battery. Now let's plug in this little 3.6 volt Tataran battery. That's a primary lithium battery. And you can see the LEDs are sequencing. So all of that code is running inside that little chip. And because we're reading the A to D on this potentiometer, we're gonna adjust that and that's gonna change the delay. And let's see how fast we can get this to go. Okay, changing the resistance, LEDs are going faster, faster, faster to the point where you can't even tell that they're sequencing. How crazy is that? It's actually not crazy because this is running at four megahertz and those instructions take almost no time to execute. Let's back it down a little bit. You can see it's still sequencing. So that's the power of a microcontroller like that. It's very lean and all of that code that we have in our main file is executing in there. So there's no weirdness. There's not a bunch of other things you have to worry about. So literally what you see is what you get. It's executing. That to me is the coolest thing and is the most powerful way to start learning how to code firmware. If you want to try this for yourself, you can download the GitHub files. And if you wonder why this was so easy, it's because I am in fact a microchip design partner. This was not a paid endorsement, but thanks so much for watching. Adios.